important things are relationships. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of things that go into this industry that I can't mention for a lot of reasons, right? But just use your brain. Hey, Couture Bays, it's your girl, Brooke Pratt, going live with the Breeze Talk. And base why I'm giving y'all what y'all want. The girl said, I don't know anything about why I feel Cardi B is losing her star power and needs Tasha K's money. Now, before we get into that, let's like, comment, and subscribe. Tap that notification bell so you can get all the updates and alerts. And remember, opinions are not facts. Everything we say here is allegedly and for entertainment purposes solely. So sit back, relax, sip you some apple juice or my fake the vegan water, and let's get into the mess, shall we? to start this party off right i hope y'all are having a beautiful sunday that being said let's get into cardi b and why i feel like she did a lot of things to affect her career negatively so when she came on the scene she was out here doing the oh, and whatnot and we was living for it we was like yes we love a little ratchet moment don't we as society she dropped the mixtapes. I was feeling it. I was like, oh, this is cute. Because y'all know I like when the girls talk their ish. I love the track on Gangsta, Vol Gangsta Bitch Volume 2. I think it was. Trash Ass Weave. That was one of my songs. I was feeling her. So Cardi came on the scene. I was like, yes, queen, let's get it. Then Bodak Yellow came. And I was like, <laughs> I'll dance them all. I make money moves or whatever and i was feeling i thought it was cute i thought it was a whole vibe and then she became a weirdo type chick she went over there with the migos qc the label and she got rid of everybody who put her on that to me was the dumbest decision financially and career wise she could ever do she got rid of the manager she got rid of uh precious because allegedly she was stealing the chickens that video is in the membership and then all of a sudden she just became like just very weird very crazy just very uh i couldn't get with it i could not get with it i'm just telling y'all base squad these are my opinions y'all don't have to agree so when she was doing all that weirdo stuff because y'all know nikki was like watch your man you should watch your mouth i was like oh hell no i gotta stand by my queen because why they don't like nikki you know it's one thing to say nikki is whatever it's another when you're pushing a fake narrative Cardi was out here pushing that fake narrative because, as we all know, she was having marital issues. Offset was slinging that dick from here to kingdom come. He was giving it to any and everybody who would take it. And Mama was just feeling some type of way. Um, allegedly, there was a hotel conversation that was supposed to go on and they squashed the beat but it didn't happen we all said saw the legendary matt gala where they're having a conversation with uh, with the who's who's in the fashion industry so i'm thinking yes cardi we finally gonna have some peace we finally gonna have some resolution and no okay no cardi went on to become really psychotic in my opinion i don't know if it was the birth of culture but Something clicked in her brain and she ain't been right since. So, yes, invasion of privacy did what it needed to do. But Cardi was not taking the steps. I get it. Atlantic Records was looking for a girl to take down the queen of hip hop, which is Nicki Minaj. She know the goat. <laughs> Shout out to the goat. But she didn't want to do the work. She was supposed to go on tour with Bruno Mars. That fell through to the point where Bruno Mars had to link up with Silk Sonic and show that they were something and show his creative side because he went from having one of the hottest tours that was supposed to come out to fizzling. I mean, his career literally almost went into the trash can. He was fighting a lot. I mean, they say he was black fishing and all this other stuff, but I met Bruno Mars in person. He's a really cool guy, but that's another time for another day 
Either way, so Cardi doesn't go on the finesse tour or the Bruno Mars tour where I thought she was going to be catapulted into success, actually having a true stardom. She decides she don't want to do that. She want to sue Tasha K. Now, y'all know how that happened. The video is up about Tasha K having to pay $4 million to Cardi B. It is what it is. Go cry to somebody else and not to me. So I'm seeing, I'm like, damn, Cardi, you're not going on tour. You out here suing bloggers and whatnot. Then we see her about to leave Offset. And I felt like, girl, that was the pinnacle for you. And you decided to take this wing nigga back who was slinging that dick. Now, I heard Sagittarius me cannot be trusted as a Sagittarius woman. I stand by my Sagittarius men. She had to be doing something for him to be outside to you. I'm just playing. You know, black women got to fight for the kings. Power to the people. No. So Cardi B was out here fighting for her marriage. She was fighting the girls. Y'all remember Stripper Gate? Then we get that she has to pay them a settlement. She had to do 14 days of probation or something like that and cut the check. So in the midst of that, she still did not do what? Go on tour. She decides to work with Meg Thee Stallion and do this wet ass pussy. Sorry for my Christian days. But that's what the song was about. She was like, you know, touch that thing thing in my throat. Now, that was on my playlist for the bass squad. If y'all like, why was it on? I like Meg Thee Stallion. I thought her verse was cute. You know, switch up my weave. He got a new bitch. But neither here nor there. So, as that was going down, guess what Cardi decided to do in it? She decided to, what? Get pregnant again. Leaving the people with no album. Just invasion of privacy. At being a wife and a mother, you know, it's a lot of things. But she just was like, let me hurry up and get pregnant. Now, when she was pregnant with Wave, I think that's that baby's name, nobody cared. When I say nobody cared, nobody gave a damn. And that's when I knew she was losing her star power. The powers that be was getting upset. They're like, girl, we need to recoup our money. Now, mind you, they talk about payola a lot. But there's a lot of people who do like Cardi B. I do think some payola plays a part in it. But now, no, they're just leaving her to the wind. Three sheets to the wind. Y'all heard that speech where she said, I need a bigger budget. And they're like, bitch, please. You have not gotten, given us our money. You know, she's being held out by the industry. They want their money. Hence why she has all these endorsement deals. We'll get into the endorsement deals for a second. Hold on. So when she had Wave, nobody cared. It wasn't even trending news. So then she then goes and gets a new face. And that's what she transferred. I'm like, child. Yeah. right and in the midst of all that she was taking all these endorsement deals so let's get into the endorsements she did an endorsement with pepsi they did not renew it which speaks volumes i mean the girls who work with pepsi end up working with pepsi for a long time so she do that in the midst of working with pepsi she decides to throw a shoe you know the legendary naughty b that's where it comes from and in the midst of the pepsi deal she's suing a blogger tasha k celebrity blogger then she goes on to get a residency with Las Vegas. Have y'all seen it? <laughs> it came and went. I think she has to pay them people back for not doing it. Because she did what? She got pregnant with Wayne. Even though she had up and that was a cute moment, it did not stick like groups. So finally, the industry was like, I'm sick and tired of this hoe. Like, we need our money and we need it now. So they released hot shit. Hot shit didn't do anything. It came and went. We didn't even know where it went. Child, it just disappeared off the charts. She and then, in the midst of all this moments of chaos, she decides, oh, I'm going to bring whip shots. Now, I don't know how they're doing and how they're performing, but I don't do shots of whipped cream with nothing. I don't like whipped cream. I think it's disgusting. Ask Mama Bay. I will get real irate if you put it in anything I got going on. I don't give a damn if it has alcohol in it or not. But she has the whip shot. She then teams up with Playboy in the midst of them doing the secrets of Playboy, which is a Me Too moment, and it did not do well for her, I guess, because, mm, child, I'm going to just leave it at that. So then she goes, oh, hey, in the midst of all these endorsements, she teams up with Reebok, you know, <laughs> bopping in my Reeboks. I don't know who wears those. You know, my daddy always said Reeboks was Bobos. I don't know if that's true or not, but... It is what it is. So then, you know, that deal falls through. She teams up with Fashion Nova. Child, it's just giving pathetic. It's giving pitiful. And at the end of the day, 
I feel like Cardi B don't do what's best for her career. She really wants to be a wife and a mother because, you know, she's a Latina without the Afro. But she don't want to say that to y'all because then that will be disappointing fans. And y'all will be allowing people like me to tell y'all the truth. I told y'all she is symbolic to Lauren Hill. And here's why. Lauren Hill let her career do what it did behind a man. Cardi B did the same thing. That penis is something crazy, is it not? She went over there and destroyed not only the Migos, she destroyed her career. She ended a lot of viable relationships that kept her hot and popping. She was turning down endorsement deals. She was supposed to drop a book, never came out. She did a little stint in the movies like The Fast and the Furious and Hustlers. And then she started being up under Offset's ass 24-7. And when you start putting penis before your money, it's always going to be a little funny. And that's why the people are saying her star power has dwindled. I mean, she went to Thailand. The girls couldn't even keep up. Shout out to Glorilla for giving her a chance on Tomorrow too, but even that is becoming old. Like, that's not her song. That is Glorilla's song. Glorilla should be riding the wave of the success, but she allowed Cardi to do it, and, and that was the transference of power and stardom. Hence why Glorilla is looking for her next hit now. I mean, it's so tragic, but it is what it is. And this is why I say Cardi B is not the star who y'all claim. Y'all be like, she has all this money. Baby, when I go look at her videos, when y'all send them to me, I hear echoes in that house. How you a multi-millionaire and you ain't got no, no pictures up, no nothing. It's just echoing. She needs that Tasha K money. And I said what I said. But those are just my thoughts. Those are my pants. I hope y'all like this quick deep dive. You know, tell me your thoughts in comments below. I gotta go. Bye, hoes.